Okay, I'm going to show you how to take your um, fingering weight yarn and turn it into a um, basically a DK worsted weight. So take your short end and lay it over your finger like this. Push your finger away and around. Stick your thumb up through the hole you just created. Grab not the short end, but the extended end to your skein and pull through. And you'll have created a slip knot. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to take and stick your finger through and pull the yarn through. And I generally just keep pulling it for as long if I'm going to do my cast on. All right. And then I'm just going to um, pull it down um, and as you can see we have turned a fingering weight into a kind of thinner DK to worsted weight yarn all right now how to work with it is you go ahead and you start your garment you start your cast on. I'm going to do a basic ear up cast on. And then when you reach to where you're at the end of this, I'll show you how to extend it, okay, so that you can keep working on it in this level of yarn, okay? So um, I will come back and I will show you what it means that when you get to the end of the strand you just made how to continue on okay and so you understand how to keep going with it all right okay i am reaching towards the end of the um where i'm fixing i need to pull through again okay I'm just kind of showing you how you work with it. It's like three strands is one, okay? Now, I will warn you that if you go to try to frog this, it's going to be the biggest pain you'll ever need to see. But this is a way of going in and thickening any, um, any yarn you want thickened if you need it thicker. You can do this to a worsted weight and make it bulky. You can do this to DK weight um, and make it bulkier as well. So it's a really nifty trick. All right. And if you pull it through long enough, you can actually get you quite a bit of strain before you have to pull it through. Okay, so here I am. I've reached the loop. Okay, as you can see. Going to take that working yarn that's going up towards the skein and pull through. And I usually pull through for a good long time so that I don't have to do a whole lot of pulling through. And it just makes life easier to do it that way. Okay? And you just continue to pull through and pull through as you work and um, you get. A thicker yarn so as you can see I went from a fingering weight to basically a um, DK weight to worsted weight somewhere in between all right and that is how you take a fingering weight again you can take a worsted weight and make it a super bulky by doing this you can take a DK weight and make it a worsted weight so you can go in and you can double the yarn um, to where it's thicker and you can work with it um, if you have a lot of a particular weight. So that is how you go in and I call it yarn bulking. Um, so this is basically how you yarn bulk and uh, that's how you make a yarn thicker if you don't want to buy like tons of skeins and work from the middle of each and every one of them and that kind of thing. This makes it to where you work from one skein, you work as you go, but I'll warn you if you're frogging it's the biggest pain to frog unless you want to try to keep it in that kind of um, weight and even then it's still a pain so be warned if you plan on frogging it's not going to be a fun frogging 
Um, but if you're comfortable doing this and you don't think you're going to be frogging, go for it. As I always say, just go for it. Okay? All right. Well, that's how you do yarn bulking.